Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's work on the problem 10 in chapter 4. In this one, the first question is very simple. It tells you there is just one box, 20 kg, and then asks the weight of the box and the normal force act on it. So first one, the weight of the force is the mass times the acceleration due to gravity g. Super easy, right? So mass is given, g is 9.8. The second one asks you the normal force. So we look at the vertical direction. The normal force just equal to gravity to keep it stationary. So the normal force just equal to mg. The second one is a little bit difficult. It tells us we put another box, 10 kg, on the top of this 20 kg box. So we give it a, a number. So this is book, book, box 1, this is box 2. Okay. And then we need to determine the normal force that the table act on this two, the box two, the number two. And the normal force that this box two act on the box one. See, it looks difficult, but we can draw a picture to understand it. First thing, let's look at the number one, the box one. So what force act on it? First one, the gravity, M1g, do you agree? The second force is a force the box 2 act on the box 1, so F12. And the, then we look at the number 2, this box. So what force act on it? First one, the gravity of the M2G. And also there must be the force, the box 1 to the box 2, because there we have force 2 to 1, and then there must be the force one to, uh, 2 to 1, and then 1 to 2. Agree. So this two for this forces is uh, just uh, the equal in the magnitude, but opposite in the directions. And this is come from Newton's third law. And also we have the force. The table act on the box two. See the normal force act on the box two. Do you agree? Now you can see we do the force analysis. We mark all the forces there. And then we can list the equations we get. First one, we look at the number one. We can say in this one, because the box is stationary, so acceleration is zero. Do you agree? So the net force is F12 uh, minus M1G, this one. So use this force minus this one, and it's stationary equals zero. And then we look at the number two. Similarly, we can get the force Fn2 minus M2G minus F21 equal to zero, because it's stationary, acceleration is zero. And this one is we get. And we also know there is a pair of the force must satisfy the Newton's third law, the equal in magnitude. So from these three equations, we can get it. From first one, M1 is given, G is given. So very easily, we can get the force, the box two, act on the box one. Do you agree? After we get that, and this one is get, this one is a no one. And then this one is known. We can find the force, the table, to the box 2. See, this is the first, we can do that. This is the first equation. And then we can get the uh, force. And this is the second equation. Agree? And then we input the numbers. We can get the final answer. Thank you.